So in order to set these hinges, rather than buy one, I've made a jig. It does look rough, but this is literally out of scrap. Um, bit of UPVC window trim, a couple of stops, and then that's the width of my little router that I'm gonna be using. And then the important bit was that gap there, because the existing hinges are only set sort of three mil from the edge. I've also marked that's 155 mil from there to the start of the groove and from the start of the groove or the end of the groove to the end of the board. That should help me get my up and down because both sides obviously, both leaves of the door have got to be um, in the same spot, otherwise it's going to be a real mess. So yeah, that's, that's my little jig. Uh, just literally sits on the door and then a couple of clamps clamp it to the door and it should be as simple as drop the router in make the hole stick the door in nice easy one i've set this up in a bench just to mark it i put the new the new hinges in and now i've got to figure out where i'm going to put two more because obviously the easiest way would just be to, to do three but seeing the state of them ones that come off and i've got four anyway i'm gonna i think do one there and one there because I mean ideally that would be over here somewhere but um yeah one there and one there I'll measure them up and do them even 405 millimeters is the number see I've marked it up there the inner edge and then another one there so it's going to be there there so they're the same distance apart so at least there'll be kind of some sort of symmetry to it uh, I'm not convinced this is the way forward really and whether I should just suck these off and put normal butt hinges on it but my theory is if it goes horribly wrong I can always get rid of these I can fill these holes and then start again I like the invisible hinge finish but they're not the strongest so let's let's get the jig set up anyway right excuse the noise my dusty scratcher uh, I've got to set the depth of this so I don't go down too far. But to start with, I'm just going to do a pass and make sure that it's not um, doing something awful. This is the point of no return. With all these things, and the first one, kind of a measure twice cut once situation. You're gonna make sure the hole you're actually after is in the right place and the right size. So that looks to be about right. I'll take this jig off, double check it. What we should have is a 60 mil hole got 12 mil wide, it's a little bit wider than I'd like, but the important bit is that gap there, which is fine. I've set the depth. Um, this needs a six mil, a six mil hole, so I'm going slightly under that, and then I'll go down, because it's a lot easier to take material out than it is to put it back in again if you drill the hole too deep. So I'll get this one done, and we'll see how accurate that is. <laughs> sink this in because I need to hog out the bit for the um, workings there or the action but from size wise pretty good right what I'm going to do is I'll do the other three holes I'll spare you watching me do that just hogged out um, for the hinge body whether it's worked or not, but all I did was I, I needed a hole that was 14 mil narrow either side, so I just made a couple of um, packers in the table saw. And let's see, my guess is it'd probably be somewhere near, but not quite. It's not 
of if I clean that out with a chisel, get rid of some of this, that might do it. Right, this is the last one. So I'll show you this one from hopefully start to finish. Hopefully I won't get too carried away and make a pig's ear of it. Make sure it's on the right side of the door, we're in business. I'm gonna have to put the extractor on. Try and speed that bit up in the editing if I can, because that might be really dull. Well, they just stop the router going too far so I can cut the body out for the working part now. Hopefully, if I've got this right. Should be able to just clean this up. Drop this in. There we go. Pretty good. Clean it up, and then uh, we'll get get this back on. Brilliant. So now we'll try. And, that's the router I'm using. It's the cheapest one I got. Um, works really well. Come with loads of accessories as well, so I'm happy with that. It's great for this little type of thing where you want to um, have fine control. This flapping around, but yeah, katsu, it's all right. Well, they're in. I haven't screwed them in yet. I'm gonna do that when I put the door back together. Um, and that was sticking out, but that's the original one. The only nightmare I had was this bit here. I'm, I'm just gonna clean that up a little bit with the jig. I'm gonna put it back on again and just give it a tiny little, just to, like, to hit that with the chisel. But other than that, it's come out all right. So I'll clean it up and then get it back indoors and put it back on. the door back on and there's the hinges didn't actually turn out too bad and more importantly the thing's level it's not drooping so that's twice as many hinges on there now hopefully that should do it 